little demonstration here of the amazingness of Git. So there's a thing called Git. You can do cool stuff, but there's also a thing called TIG. Honestly, I don't remember where I got it, but you can get it by homebrew or whatever. I'm going to TIG, and I'm in the oceanography directory. I'm going to do a reverse TIG. Right, what do we see here? At the top, see there's a highlighted line. So at the highlighted line, there's a date, 2007. That's not today. Hmm. And uh, you can see from, sorry, um, you can see from that, I guess, I'm not sure if you can see the mouse, but you can see at the end here, it says initial import. This was the first time that I put uh, OCE into, into version control. Git didn't, it wasn't, hadn't been invented yet. So I was using something called SVN, that means Okay, I don't remember what that means. And before that, I used something else. And before that, I used something else. So I don't know. This is just when I first started doing SVN. So you can see here, I'm scrolling down. You can see the date and la, la, la. And um, you can see this is the statistics of changes. The file called description got 16 lines of changes. The file called as.ctd got 32 lines of uh, additions. If there were extractions, there would be minus signs in there as well. So this says that as of um, the year 20, uh, 2007, um, which is a while back, <laughs> um, we could do some CTD stuff in OCE. Um, we can do some coastline stuff, some sea level stuff. And I hadn't yet started to put things like the Coriolis effect into a place called miscellaneous. Also, what I was doing was I had a separate R file for every um, every function, which I don't do anymore. So I just type Q to get out of that. We'll go down here to the next commit, which was done two hours later on the same day, and I'm pressing enter. And we can see whatever the changes were. So, okay, in the namespace, I, uh, let me just see here. Okay, so I, I'm just changing the indentation here. Not very exciting. So that's all I was doing there. Um, change tab alignment. Apparently this time I fixed a bug. Let's just see what the bug fix was. It was in the file called demo geoid. It's just about making calculations on ellipsoidal, or ellipsoidal earth. Um, and uh, it's a typo. <laughs> I was, <laughs> originally I was saying that a meter was defined as blah, blah, but anyway, so that's fine. So what is the deal with this? If you're not familiar with uh, Git, uh, you can see that there was a line here that said what is in green on the right hand. I changed it to be this. I changed the percent symbol to percent. I'm typing Q to finish that. Now, what is, well, what is the point of all this? Well, you can track all the changes that I've made or that have been made in, um, in OCE. And I'm just sort of scrolling down here. I'm looking for any other authors. Looks like I basically didn't have anyone else pushing at this point pushing, I mean, to the thing. Okay, and here's my badness. I'm a very, very bad boy. <laughs> you should really give a commit note. And so this is a good commit note, aesthetic tweaks plus blah, blah, blah. These are, this is a bad commit note, dot. I was sort of famous for having terrible commit notes. Everyone, I, I, I'll tell you, everyone should have good commit notes. Honestly, I don't really have good commit notes. Maybe I got better more recently. So I'll do Q to get out of that. I'll do TIG again. Okay, these are better con commit notes. These are, this is today. That's like whatever, 20 minutes ago or something like that. Um, some changes that I've been making. And uh, okay, so these are pretty good commit notes, I would say. Let's just see what, what we did here. A bunch of RD files. These are documentation files get changed. Really the big ch change was in this file. There's a new thing called read.ctd.ss. Yeah, just a particular kind of a CTD, that's all. But when I added that, I have in the docs, there's this thing called related functions. These are all related functions. So each of these ones got one more line because they each have one more cousin, basically. So that's that. I could look at the details. I added it to the namespace. Um, I added it to the news. Now here are the differences in this. Well, they're all new, all the lines are new. So it's gonna just say plus, plus, plus because there, there were no 
there were no lines before, I think. Um, type Q to get out of that. Is there anything else I should be showing you here? Um, so I'll type a question mark. No, I guess it's help. I don't, know what, I don't know what I just did. I guess I just searched for that. Um, I guess you go help, is that right? No, maybe help. Okay, you type H for help and uh, it'll come up with these little things you can type. M for the main view, I'll type that. Okay, H to get help. Um, tons of things that you can do. Intig, just tons of them. There's really no reason for me to be showing you all of these. Um, but I think basically TIG is an extraordinarily fast way of navigating through uh, a repo. And you can get similar things by using a function called GitHub, which is a, a GUI function that you can get from, um, from, the, from GitHub. That's it for my little video.